What is up everybody? Spidey Joe 9 here and I hope you're having a marvelous day. It has been one year, if you can believe it. I stood right here a year ago and I recorded my very first Spidey Joe 9 YouTube video. And wow, it has been an amazing year. Just, I really couldn't have imagined that the year would go like it has gone. I mean, it started out with me just, you know, posting about Marvel Legends, you know, stuff about Spider-Man, whom I love, you guys know that. And I wasn't really sure what direction the channel was gonna take. I just knew that I was gonna post Marvel stuff and, and really work hard at, at learning how to do this thing called YouTube, which a year later, I still have so much to learn. But what really surprised me was what I didn't plan for happened. And that was in January, I released, it, I released with my brother, a Marvel card video and boom Marvel cards exploded and it's still exploding Marvel cards baby yeah they are up up and up and it's been a lot of fun and so <clears throat> in February I started making Marvel card content so much fun opening boxes ripping packs bringing back old memories and then something serendipitous happened I happened to jump on a live interview with Sketch Card Hive while the golden auction of the Spider-Man 20, excuse me, not 2099, <laughs> so I'm so used to saying Spider-Man 09, that the 2013 Spider-Man Green PMG and other PMGs sold. They were my good buddy now. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that's happened. He is actually a really good friend of mine now. Ian Fisher sold his cards, and they sold for record amounts around 34 30,000 and so forth and so on and that started me down a journey that I never expected and that this channel would morph into not only a Marvel Legends channel which I still really love but also a Marvel trading card channel the Marvel trading card uh, stuff was actually really awesome because I was in the middle of building out a new room for the Marvel Legends and while I was doing that I was able to make Marvel trading card content and start to really develop this community of Marvel card collectors. That turned into a podcast. I remember the day that I was driving down the road and three of my friends, Gingy, Gingy Man, uh, Loose of Collectibles, and Sketch Card Hive, FaceTimed me and said, hey, what do you think about starting a podcast with us? And we called it Marvel's Pack Fresh Podcast. If you haven't already uh, subscribed to that channel and been taking in that content, please do so. You'll really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. And so from that, just the content started to pour out around trading cards and Marvel Legends. And now the two are married together. And I love to display my trading cards and my Marvel Legends at the same time in the same shelf. And so for that, I wanted to celebrate this one year of creating YouTube content with you guys. And I thought it would be fun if we opened up some packs of trading cards. So today, I actually drove out of state to go to a comic book store, and I was able to grab some Marvel packs of trading cards. So let's look into those. Now, it just would not be a one-year celebration video if I didn't open up some Marvel cards, because that has defined this year so much. You know, I don't know how many videos that I put out, but I bet it's well, it's well over 100, probably like 130 or so. And I've just been so blessed at the subscribers and the growth of the channel. Really appreciate all of you. So, all right, so let me tell you what I have here. I went to a comic book store today that I've never been to, and I opened up some stuff, and while I was there, we traded for these packs. And so, I want to begin opening these up with you. So we've got... So here we have X-Men Origin Wolverines trading cards. Now, the thing that makes these specials, they were put out by Rittenhouse, and they have, they have autographs and sketch cards on them. So, I was only able to get seven packs, so not necessarily expecting to pull one of those, but it would be really awesome if we did. So, I've never seen these before. Oh, <laughs> there's our man. Hugh Jackman. Now, if we were able to pull a Hugh Jackman auto, that would be so incredibly sick. So sick. Now, 
Now, I don't think this movie went down as anybody's favorites. I'm just going to shoot you straight on that. Like, <laughs> not anybody's favorite movie. But, <clears throat> doesn't mean that what's in these packs won't be valuable if we're able to hit a sketch card or an auto. Now, there's an auto in every box. Now, but I wasn't able to get a whole box. I was only able to get these packs. So our chances aren't great, but we got some of that Spidey Juju. That's something else that we discovered this past year on YouTube is the Juju. I need to go back and watch this movie. I'm not even remembering some of these actors and scenes here. Now, if you'll notice the cards that I have behind us here, those were chosen for a reason. They define this year as much as anything. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Behind the scenes. Oh, that's Gambit. Yeah, that's Gambit. <laughs> there he is again. All right, we're down to three packs, guys. Are we going to do it? Will we pull the auto? Will the Spidey Juju come forth? We shall see. Another behind the scenes. <laughs> That's supposed to be the blob. That's hilarious. There's the blob again. All right. Now... I don't know if the packs are thicker or what. I really don't know. That's going to be interesting. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's where he takes down the helicopter. That made me nervous. Why did that make me nervous? Okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's actually really cool for some reason. That's a, a Wolverine card that I'm, I haven't seen before. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Set that one to the side. Because that is fun. All right, we've got one more pack. We got one more pack. My dog came in here. Teddy. Teddy, you going to be some good luck to us? My boy. All right. Okay, here we go. We got some claws in this photo. Here it is again. Hugh Jackman. Behind the scenes. And no auto. So no auto, but we got a cool Wolverine card. So that's nice. Make sure I didn't miss anything here with the back of these cards. Because you never know. Again, I think the only inserts are the autos and the sketch cards. Okay, cool. That was fun. So I actually got these by trading. I traded something for these. Same way with this Fantastic Four pack. Now, there are sketch cards in these, fan these Fantastic Four archives. I think some of them can be kind of special. So, let's get in here. Get it open. So, we got true comic book art here. Think. And the Fantastic Four fighting Black Bolt. And you can see the information on the back. It's on the back of each card, I believe. Because it's an archive of comic books. So that's fun. All right, guys. So we got to open up some packs. Got to have some fun. So let's talk about what we have here. This is kind of what helps define the year. We've got <clears throat> the first card that really defined the last year. 
and that is this Double Impact Rogue. If you remember, I bought one pack of Marvel Masterpieces from 1996, and you know, it's widely held that this is the card of that set. Some would say the Captain America Silver Surfer, but both of them bring a premium, and uh, both of them can be very difficult to get your hands on. So this has Silver Surfer on the back side. Well, that video has done really well for me, and <laughs> I got it graded, and it came back a PSA 7. What do you do? These are very difficult to grade, but this card absolutely plays a huge role this year. The second card, and the most important card, is the Spider-Man Gold 1 of 1. Now, this card just has uh, meant a lot to me uh, to be able to get it, uh, to be in possession of it, to be the owner of it. It's been really special to me, and... I still keep in touch with the previous owner to this day. In fact, we text today. Uh, just feel very blessed to be able to have it in my possession. See, one of one. <laughs> That's as good as it gets, guys. It's a Spider-Man, it's a PMG, and it's a one of one. So special. Just love it. But yeah, this card has meant a lot to me this year. And then next, Spider-Man Metal. <clears throat> and I chose this gold uh, plate here. Uh, excuse me, I chose this gold planet metal here just for fun. There are tons of other cards I could have chose, but, uh, but opening up this set, chasing this set, chasing after these Dark Phoenix cards just played a huge role this year. So certainly important. And this is a special card to me. And then lastly, sketch cards. So sketch cards was something that I really learned about this year through YouTube and the, and the relationships that were created over YouTube. And this these two sketches are from Andre Osh. And you're looking at the Old Man Logan homage card of a PMG here. Just a beautiful sketch from Andre. Also from the car stock of the X-Men Metal Universe. Just super cool card. And he just, Andre went above and beyond and so graciously sketched me into a Venom nonetheless. On some uh, card stock here super cool um, just really special all right guys so let's take a look around the room and look at the comic books that really defined the last year on the channel I have to mention the spawn books for sure spawn has been a big part of this channel and I don't have the action figures here but we did do the Kickstarter spawn and we got those this year and of course we got the um, one and was that 1697 <laughs> variant of uh, the King Spawn comic book? So that's cool. And of course, we have our ladies here, our first appearance ladies. These were big acquisitions this year. And then we have our PMG display. Super cool display here. We really gotta love it. Of course, we have our Spider-Man display, which you have all seen plenty of times. We have our comic books down here, <laughs> and a lot of them. We graded a lot of comic books this year, quite a bit. And of course, we have our display that went up here. Silver Surfer was a big acquisition for me this year. First appearance here. And it's number one and number four. We actually have some other big Surfer books coming that are being graded right now. Should have those soon. And then our display now. <laughs> Our Crane Books, Clayton Crane Books. So it's been quite the year. Been a lot of fun. And it all started right here. One year ago, November 13th.
It's been such a wild ride, and I love it, and there's so much more to come. Some really big things that are happening. So keep following the channel. If you haven't already, subscribe. Really do appreciate it. Hope you all have a marvelous day.